Well, hello again. Don Conroy here. I'm delighted to have your company. And as you can see, today we're going to draw a red fox. In the Irish language, they're known as Shunnock or Madra Rua. And by the way, in London, the great city of London, boasts a black fox roaming around. Now, it's rare, but it's not that unusual. But anyway, look out for this amazing creature. Anyway, I love foxes, magnificent creatures, uh, and a lot of people down through the ages have a love-hate relationship with foxes. And, okay, for different reasons, but uh, I, I love them to draw and see them. Okay, let us begin. <laughs> um, I'm, I've drawn the fox as if it's coming towards you. So we're getting what's called a three-quarters view, and it's a lovely... Uh, evening, dusk, the sun is going down and it's out exploring. Right, so we'll start off by drawing a circle like this. And we'll put a line across like this and a line down, a, a sort of curved line like this. And then we'll indicate roughly where the eyes would be where the ears would be, and the muzzle, the snout. Uh, just think of a sort of a, a rectangular shape. So we bring it out like that, like off. This is just to like put an idea in, into your head uh, how it would look. And then tip at the nose there. And the body, because I've drawn it three quarters view, it's sort of, just think almost like a, a barrel shape. Just a bit like that. And then the tail going off somewhere like that. We'll indicate where the legs would be. And because I have it kind of wandering through uh, rough grass, uh, you can't actually see their, their paws and that. So, once we work out that shape like that, then we can kind of go up and say, right, the ears are quite big like that, the eyes would go roughly like there, then the, the mouth would be about here, and then we're away. Again, if you were planning this, you just do it roughly with a pencil or whatever. Drawing the crayon today, as usual. <laughs> and we'll begin. So again, I'm going to start with the eyes, using my crayon, uh, black crayon. And they kind of have what looks almost like almond-shaped eyes. And we draw the muzzle right down like that, round like that, back up like that. And actually we'll put in the nose just there like that. And then we put in the lower jaw like that. And then we go up here and we draw the ears. So their ears are black, uh, around the back, anyway, and they're always fairly alert. It's in the countryside, uh, foxes are very wary, you know, naturally, because, uh, you know, they get hunt, hunted by everybody from farmers to gamekeepers and stuff like that. So they have to be wary. In the city, foxes wander around. <laughs> In fact, I was actually watching uh, some some geese one day, and I was near a harbour, and I was waiting for them to take off because it was near dusk. Suddenly, a fox comes along, walks by the wall, and I was at an angle, so I was leaning like this. What's the fox do? Walks right between the wall and my legs wandered by. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> so they remarkable creatures. The male is called the dog fox and the female is called a vixen. The dog has a, a kind of a, a bark, sort of sharp bark, like it make, make three kind of bark calls. The female makes out this scream. It's a blood curdling scream. But it's a romantic scream. She's saying, darling, <laughs> I'm over here. <laughs> and so, amazing. So you can see a lot of people who wouldn't know that sound would be terrified. <laughs> What's that? So there we are. I've drawn the sort of, I say, the elongated body because it's coming towards you. The head national fits bigger. Uh, because it's up close like this and now what I'll do very quickly is just indicate here which is a fence and I'm just going to roughly indicate the sun going down like that and a few long uh, marks like this to indicate the long grass by the way, the young um, are actually kind of chocolate brown when they're born, usually four or five of them in springtime, because the mating begins in December to February, roughly. And they're great because they, they're very adaptable. They live in different habitats. Um, even an old shed in, in somebody's back garden, they're very happy to use a you know, little plastic pallet inexpensive, handy. Uh, I'm just gonna put a little bit of paint and I'm using what's called gouache. Gouache is a lovely watercolor paint, but it can be quite opaque as well. So it means you can kind of put it on a little bit heavier too. So, so this, uh, doing this very quickly, but that's, this color is called burnt sienna. Let's say if you're, you've got your crayons or your colour markers, uh, try and do something similar colour wise. And again, don't be too fussy at the moment. All you're doing is what's called mapping in the colour. So well done on all the pictures that you've been doing. I'm very impressed. <laughs> it's good to see you're enjoying it. And uh, it's nice to see people get an opportunity uh, to be creative. Because it's not just exclusive for anybody uh, from the point of view of you have to be an artist. But everybody is an artist in their imagination. Just remember that. I'm going to put a little bit of the burnt umber there as well. And it's quite funny when you do see adult foxes. The adult fox is roughly about the size of a cat. And if you look at their, their legs, it looks like they're wearing socks. And their tail is called uh, a brush. And they've got a white tip to it. And as you can see, I'm just putting a little bit of, of cold yellow ochre in this as well. Actually, in winter time, they have a beautiful coat. It's kind of nice and thick fur. And it's, it's a mixture of brown and uh, red. So that's where it gets its name. So just with the crayons now, pick up the crayons again, and I'll just slap a little bit of green here. I want to do the eyes, just the eyes are quite dramatic. Put a tiny little black 
mark in there like that. And I'm just going to indicate a bit of black up here. And a few whiskers. So again, uh, darken that up. Uh, it'll take a little bit more time. But I just wanted to show you how to actually draw the fox. Get the shape right. Then you can put in detail and stuff like that. So I'm just going to put it back up uh, my original one so you can have a look at it again. So here's the original and I'd say a little bit more time on it. But the main thing is, as I've said so many times, is just to enjoy the experience of drawing, having fun. Look always, as I say, for the shape and the form. And look, watch out for this remarkable creature. It's a wonderful to think. In, in this this world, there's all these lovely creatures around us. A lot of us don't see them, but we should look out for them. Until the next time, do take care. Bye. And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you wish.